Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show number 273. What you're looking at is a website that I've shown you before uh, as a tool for finding out what's on the air and what bands are active. And this website is the dxmaps.com website. And you can see right now I've got it uh, on 10 meters. I've selected 10 meters. So you can see there's a lot of activity on 10 meters. Okay, so that's what I showed you before. But there are many, many other things that this website provides. I really like this website. And I just want to talk about one other one this morning. That uh, the reason that it came to mind is because I got an email from this website indicating that there is activity on 6 meters. And apparently there's activity on 10 meters too. And what you can do, so I'll scroll down here, is down here you can receive customized propagation warnings by email. And what that means is you fill out this form and you select what bands you want to get what they call a warning, meaning that there is activity on that band right now. And they will send you an email when that happens. And many years ago, when I first signed on uh, to this website and saw that option, I chose that option, and I selected 6-meter band. Because at that time, I was planning on getting into 6 meters. Unfortunately, I still haven't done that. So I still get these warnings via email when the 6-meter band is active, meaning it's active long distance. So you too can do that. Um, you know, there's no, it's, you just sign up for this website, sign up for the uh, emails, and the way you go, you start getting these uh, notifications. The other thing I want to show you real quick is that I didn't touch on too much before is you, this is the VHF, uh, LA, excuse me, LF and HF map for these various bands. I have selected 10 meter band. You can select all the bands if you want to or any one of them. There's also a VHF and up map, which I'll select right now. And right now, it had, my default was set to 50 megahertz or 6 meters. And here's the activity that's going on in 6 meters. Unfortunately, you see that none of it is over in the United States yet. So the activity that they reported is from Europe to Africa, South Africa to be specific. So the other thing that on this particular set of maps, which you can select any of these frequencies, it also has one for satellite communications. And what satellite communications is in, in the amateur radio world is there, there are amateur radio satellites put, in, put up in orbit, and you can use those as a repeater. And as a satellite goes over, um, you can transmit up to that satellite, again, if you have an amateur radio license, and it will repeat your signal back down so that you can get long-distance communications on your Bofang um, HT. And this map doesn't show much activity because this is the most recent activity. But if you go to the list option, this shows you, I think it's like uh, last 24 hours or something like that. This shows you the activity on satellites that are passing overhead in the last 24 hours. And it shows you um, who reported that they had a contact on a satellite and who they talked to. And what's in the notes over here, they tell you what satellite they used. For instance, here's a gentleman right here that talked to three different people using the F. O29 satellite as it passed overhead. Now, these communications have to be very short because the satellite goes overhead within about 10 minutes. It's You see it, 
you can communicate to it, and it's gone past your horizon. So you have to be, the conversations are very short. So, and this indicates that this gentleman talked to people that were about 5,000 miles away. Now, that's line of sight, not line of sight, but that's surface distance. That's not up to the satellite and back down. That's just the surface distance. So he could have been using a Pofang radio and talking to this satellite and uh, talking to someone around the world. So it's kind of interesting. And this is uh, these satellites typically operate on the 2-meter band and the 70-centimeter band which your Bofang radio, for instance, can operate on. So I just thought I want to show you those two other things that you can get from this website. And there are many other things that this website can t show you um, various about the various bands. But the thing I wanted to point out today is this capability of receiving customized propagation warnings by email. That's a great service, and I really appreciate it. The gentleman has set up this website and doing all this work. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed my show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.